Time is up. Time is up. What's He's your opinion? Here. What's your opinion on this Saturday's fight? Joshua and Usyk. Man, fuck they fight. 50 50, I'm going in. <laughs> You're like, fuck that fight. I, I just want to I, I just want to see if he'll keep that energy, you know what I mean, in terms of putting undisputed. He not. He not. He not. That house, that house nigga ain't gonna keep that energy. Mm. He actually said that. He actually said, yeah, 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 I know what you're going to say, Snake. You heard about that, huh? <laughs> He actually said Deontay's going to be third. Yep. Yeah. Deontay. He did say that? Wow. That was actually yeah, he did. Today. He said that was actually the first one saying that. Mm. Mm. And, um, and, uh, uh, that, 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 in my opinion, Fred, directly after the Fury, that's the next one. That's the Can't next one. I mean, that, 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 that should be the next one. The fans want it. Uh, Leontay's been wanting it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you know, like, say it again. That's the one, man. But, they, you know, Fred, I just want, I, I really want people to know that I'm confident for a reason. Uh-huh. Um, like, it, 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 this is not just because, fuck our brotherhood. I'm confident from a teacher to a fighter. That's who my. Those are the words of, uh, I believe, Joey Scott, Malik Scott, uh, didn't hear Tate Jones, and uh, Silent Heroes, Fred from Barbershop Conversations. Um, I don't know who the gentleman is uh, near, that's not Joey Scott, that's uh, maybe the brother of Joey, I'm not sure who that is, Um, but he called um, Anthony Joshua, out of his name, of course. And, of course, we heard him say what he said on top of saying that he doesn't want it, saying he doesn't want Undisputed, but he thinks that Deontay Wilder is going to win. Okay, let let me counterpunch. All right. I've sit here and I've heard three hours of this shit. And I've heard what Deontay Wilder is capable of, what his attributes are, the accomplishments that he had. And it comes down to life after Fury. When they beat Fury, they're confident they're going to beat Fury. You know, Fred asked about the other fights. Now, naturally, you're going to have, you know, a negative response somewhere. Tay, he didn't say anything. But whoever the uh, the guy, excuse me, whoever the guy was in the blue was like, hey, fuck that fight, you know. And what based on what he called Anthony Joshua... He obviously doesn't like Joshua because of who his management is, okay? And I think it's unfair because, you know, Anthony Joshua just signed a lifelong contract with Eddie Hearn, which something I don't agree with, and I'm going to explain why. But, you know, the reason they don't like him because the narrative is Anthony Joshua is not liked in the in the Americas. But for one, he's not African-American. And for two... He has a white guy running the show. Okay, we have to be real about that. That is the narrative. That is the overall reason, regardless of what people tell you. That's why. That's why you heard the cat say, oh, fuck that. That house, you know what? He don't want the fight. You know, and then and, and it's funny is because that's the same type of attitude that Wilder has. So I propose this. If you claim you want the fight, Draw a contract when you get your belt back. You become two-time heavyweight superstar champion, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Okay, well, send something with a real contract to someone. You know, or call out Joshua or whatever, but without the bullshit. Let's get some contract signs so this fight could actually happen. Let's do that. You know, instead, oh, he don't want it. I hear he's making excuses, this, that, and the other. I mean, because that, that doesn't, that doesn't satisfy me that you really want the fight because that could always mean that's the that's the escape go. Oh, he don't want to fight. Well, is it he don't want to fight or you don't want to fight? You know what I mean? Because if, if that's something that Deontay Wilder's been wanted, it's hard to believe that after all these fucking years. You turned down a $100 million contract, claimed you sent 50 or had 50 million to send to this particular person and then the shit didn't happen. You agreed on 15 then turn around and said you never agreed on 15. You call it 12.5 slave wages, which 
You're using this all old fucked up uh, rhetoric, right? That keeps us down as a people, real talk. Then the fight never happens. Then you get beat by Tyson Fury. Now Tyson Fury is the new enemy. But the, the, but the enemy before that was Anthony Joshua. Like Anthony Joshua hasn't stood up for his own people doing things that he felt was right. They fucking treat Anthony Joshua like he's Carlton Banks or some shit. Like he's from Bel Air, California. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it just shows you the hatred for certain people because they don't look like you. That's what I'm looking at. And, that is, and that's a trickle down effect. That's like, okay, I don't like this guy because of this reason. Really, you need a reason to hate, to dislike this guy because this guy you're not backing. So that's another point I need to make. But as far as Wilder and Joshua, if they get past, if they get past their opponents, because this shit ain't set in stone, then that would be the fight to make. That's be the only fight to make. And if it's any bullshit about, oh, he don't want any, there's no time for that shit. When you're talking about, Oh, I, don't, I heard he don't want it. Why are you talking about I heard he don't want it instead of getting with your white fucking managers? Two, plural. You had three, motherfucker. You had Louis de Blue de Bella. You had Shelly Finkel. And you had JD. Even though he was a half-assed wannabe trainer, he was still your manager. So that's three white guys that were over you that were running the show. One even called you a baby fucking champion. But then yet you let your entourage, yes, entourage, say, oh, well, that's guy... He's a house, you know what? So, okay, well, that could be applied to you if that's the case, but he gets a pass because he's black American? That's bullshit. That's, that's what I'm talking about. See, when we have these type of fights, if Wilder beats Tyson Fury, that could be made, and Joshua beats Usyk, that should be the only fight that get made. No, no time for bullshit talk because it's all C-A-P, cap. Because if as long as it's capped, that means nothing is doing, going forward or towards this fight getting made. We've heard enough of Wilder run his mouth about how much he wants Joshua and he's a scared chicken, ain't had this, ain't had that, he's Annabelle, he's this, that, and the other. And you did all that to fight this white guy that ended up, oh, he beat you up and the only way he beat you is he cheated. But at the end of the day, you're doing all this extra shit that you've never done before as Malik Scott explained, right, to get the job done. But if that's what, uh, that's how he beats you, why are you fucking working so hard? Why are you working like you never worked out before? Because you know there's something that you have to accomplish and it's going to take more than it took for you to win or to, uh, to do what you're supposed to do that you didn't do last time. You didn't fucking win last time because you wasn't prepared. If you couldn't hold up a fucking suit that's two gentlemen made for you, you weren't ready. See, this thing about Wilder, he looks the same all the time. He's genetically lean. So it ain't going to be a time where you can tell by looking at him, he's out of shape. Yeah, he gained some weight. So what? Right? But obviously, he wasn't in physical condition enough to withstand that fight. Okay? Okay. And he's in with, with a fight of his life, especially a guy that's coming on the up and up because he figures, hey, I got the drop on him because I can crack him like I did before. OK, so um, that's me counterpunching that particular question. But yes, I agree with Fred uh, from Barbershop Conversations. They both fighters should keep the same energy if they get past their past opponents or their uh previous opponents but anyway you guys tell me what you think about this particular interview of course please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch peace